I'm going to show you today how you can create line drawn animation like these that looks like someone drew it by hand, possibly with some kind of a marker or an animation that has been done with stop motion. But all of this was done using Keynote on a Mac with no iPad and no Apple Pencil. Here we have Keynote open on our Mac. And the very first thing it gives you is your theme chooser. We're going to go to custom themes and do one that I have made called Adventure. You can find a link for this one in the video description if you want to use it as well. When it opens up, we have this title slide showing. We'll go over here to our inspector on the right side and we'll choose blank. Now we have a big, simple black colored slide ready to go here. And we're going to do a couple more things to get things set up. Now you start a presentation, one of the first things you should do is go into file and save. Then give your presentation a name. We'll simply call this one line draw. For today's presentation, we're not going to have a lot of slides. We're going to go over here to the slide navigator and we're going to drag this out so the slides are larger. We're also going to go up here to view and we're going to select show object list. This will be helpful for us on our slide. Now, the first thing I showed you in that demo was a line. And so if you go up here to the top of your screen to shape and choose this line with an arrow, it's now on your screen. It's pretty small. And so what we're going to do is we're going to simply drag it to make it as long as we want. Then we'll go over here to the inspector. We're going to make this a lot thicker so it really gets your attention. Choose animate, add an effect to what's called line draw, and then hit preview. We now see it's drawing with the arrow. So we've got a few choices here. We can include the end point. I'll take that off. It'll draw from start to end. We have an ease in and out. And now when we preview, it draws it at the end, but this still doesn't look quite hand drawn. So here's a couple more things we can do. When we go into format in our inspector, instead of a regular line, you have a few options here at the bottom. This one makes it look like it was chalk. This one may be more of like a calligraphy pen. This one is a broken pen or marker. And my favorite is what I like to call the ink line here. So if we zoom out, go back to animate in our inspector and choose preview. We now have a very simple line that looks like somebody draw it. That's not super impressive. So let's go on to what's next. If we go up in the top of our inspector, simply add a slide. We're just going to use blank slides today to keep it simple. So in the very top here, we'll go to shape. We're going to choose this star. And we're going to do something here to help us out. You can use keyboard shortcuts, but you can also go over here to the inspector to format, arrange. And under here, under size, it has constrained proportions. If you check that box, it will keep it from getting distorted. When you drag and resize it, it will keep all other proportions the same. So we'll come back here to our star. We'll go to a corner on it and we'll drag that and make it bigger. Now that we have that star, we'll drag it to where it centers. Now we'll go over here to where a little magic happens. For our style today, we're gonna to turn the fill off, but for our border, we're gonna give it a line. And because we just used that ink looking one on the previous slide, I put that on there. But for this one, we're gonna come up to this kind of broken brush pen and choose that instead. And then go in the inspector, animate, add an effect, and once again, line draw. When you click preview, it draws it out for you. You can adjust your speed, but that makes it look a little bit different to stand out from a typical shape. The next one we did is another level of things that are involved here. And so we're gonna go up into our inspector here, add a blank slide. Once again, come over to the center, we'll add a shape. This time we're gonna scroll into geometry here. We're gonna choose a shape that's more elaborate. We'll do that shortcut we mentioned. We'll come over here under format, arrange, constraint proportions is checked, which is awesome. And we'll then drag these corners and make it larger. And we'll center it on our screen. Now for this one, we're gonna do a couple different things. One of the things we're gonna do is come over to our inspector to style, and we're still gonna make this one no fill. We'll give a border and have a line. And this time we'll go back to that ink line that we had before. If we animate this, it will draw it. You can go over here to the top right, choose animate, add an effect, good old line draw, and it will draw all those shapes. But in the demo I showed you, each of those was a different color. And here's how you do that. If you right click on your shape, there's an option to break apart. This will now break this into multiple shapes. Then you can go through, click off of it. In the beginning, we had you view and show object list. This is why. You now can click over here very easily. We're on the bottom right corner of our shape. And if we go to our inspector, we can do format. We can change our line color. And now part of that shape is different. You can keep repeating this process by going and clicking on a different shape in your object list. And then going back over to your inspector and changing the color for that line. We'll repeat this process till we have all of the lines colored. And then we'll come back and show you how to do the animation. 
Now with all the lines colored, each of them a different color, we're simply gonna click on the screen and drag to select all of these. Another option would be over here in our object list, we could click on the top one, hold the shift key down, click on the bottom, it will also select all of them. With them all selected, instead of doing this one at a time, come back over here to your inspector, animate, add an effect for build in to line draw. We want this to be a little bit faster, so we're gonna shrink this instead of two seconds down to 0.7 seconds. We'll come back out, hit preview, and we'll watch it draw all those different elements of that one shape in different color because we broke it apart and animated it. Again, if you like this, but you're like, you know what, I really wanna try a different style, come back over to format, to your line. We haven't used this one yet, kind of a brush stroke. It's a little bit more of a bold look, but again, your animation is still there. And so if you preview, it looks like somebody drew this instead of it being just a shape. Now let's involve some fills. We'll go up here to again, add a blank slide, come up here to file and save, or to use the keyboard shortcut command S. On our slide here, again, we'll go up to the shapes. That's our big shortcut for all of this. This time in objects, we're gonna bring in this little lamp. And again, over in format, arrange, We'll make sure the box is checked to constrain proportions. We'll come back over to our lamp, click on a corner and resize it, make it nice and large. We'll center it. This time, we're going to go over into our inspector, into format style, and for fill, we're going to choose a gradient fill. Because it's a lamp, we're going to make this different shades of gray. If we look at it, not enough contrast there, so go ahead and make this one a little bit darker. And then we want to bring the line in. So then we'll go over here to our inspector, and we'll choose border, line. That's a little bit chunky. Chunky. So we're going to change this. We'll make this our, what I call the calligraphy pen. And then we'll change the thickness from 20 points down to about five. And we'll change the color to white. And again, we'll come up here to the top to animate, add effect, line draw. And we look at our preview. It draws the lamp and then it colors it in as we finish. So you have a little bit different effect there. But what about with text? I mentioned that before. Let's come up here to the top left add a slide. This time, we're going to add my quote slide we have here. And you can animate the text. We're not going to mess with all of that today. We're just going to show you the lines. The way you create the underline or the cross out is come up here to shape and simply choose basic and align. When that shows up on your screen, let's say we want to focus on the decision here. We will bring this line up, adjust the points to be under that word. Come over here to the far right side, format. We'll make that line more of the ink style. We'll increase it a little bit on its size. And then again, animate, add effect, line draw. Probably want it to be about 0.5 seconds. Then we can preview and it underlines that word. Cross it out. You can probably imagine really similar. Go up to shape, basic, and align. This one we want to be a little bit bolder. So we'll drag it over here. We're going to cross out time. But for our style, we are going to do format, and we're gonna change the line to this big rough brush stroke. We'll make it red as a classic cross out, kind of see how that's coming together. This time we're gonna increase it to about 20 points. And now we'll animate over our inspector, add effect, the good old line draw. We'll make this again about 0.5 seconds. Preview crosses that out. Now we have the style and the animation that we want, but we wanna have one more line. We want it to be a cross out with two lines. So we'll right click on it, duplicate, come over to the inspector, format, arrange, and then we can use these flip options here. If we flip it horizontally, you can now go over here and adjust it and it's ready to go. We'll preview the animation just to make sure it looks the way we want. Animate, preview. And we want them to both go left to right. So then on this one, we'll simply change it from end to start, and then we'll click on the slide, go to build order. This is where you can set the animation to start as soon as you get on the slide. Get on here and choose after transition. You actually do this with all of these, but if we want to say that and then start this one on a click, we can leave that one, but then make the second line to follow the first after build two. And if we preview, that crossing out happens automatically and looks very natural. Now, the last most advanced way you can make your slide stand out and look as if it has hand-drawn elements just using shapes in Keynote on your Mac no iPad, no Apple Pencil. Let me show you how to put all the pieces together. Go up here and add a new slide. We'll choose a blank one. On this blank slide, we're gonna go under shapes. We're gonna choose something a little bit more detailed. So we're gonna type in, use the search feature here. We're gonna search for a heart and we'll use this one. That's on our screen. Again, we'll come over to the inspector to format. Constraint proportions is all set. You can always type in your size if you want to. We're gonna come over here and simply drag it and make it larger for the screen. And you have a couple options here. What we're going to do is we're gonna use elements from another presentation just to set this up how we want it. 
that. So in Keynote, we'll come up here to the top left and do File, New. When the theme choices come up. We're going to go down to Portfolio and choose Chalkboard. When that opens up, we're going to come over here into the Inspector, and we're going to choose a blank slide. With that selected, we're going to come up to the top. I'm going to show you a little trick here. We're going to choose a chart and use this pie chart, bring it on our slide here. And now we're going to come over to the slide in our Navigator, right-click on it, copy. We'll go down to our line draw presentation we were working in. On the left-hand side, we'll click on the slide we were working on, right-click and choose paste. Here's where it all comes together. We're going to take the heart shape that we already had, click on it, right-click and choose cut. Come over here to that slide, click on it, right-click on this slide and choose paste. Bring this alongside the pie chart. The first thing we'll do with our slide is we'll come over here to the inspector under format style. We'll add a border. Because we're on a chalkboard, we're gonna choose that chalk or crayon looking line. That's a bit bold for this heart as far as how thick it is. So we'll bring this down, 12 looks pretty good. We'll make it white so it stands out and that's a good start. Then we're gonna right click on this heart and we're gonna duplicate. We'll drag this heart over to the left, click on the original one, come over here to fill and choose no fill come over to animate choose line draw this one we want to be a little bit take more time on so we're going to bring it up to four seconds see how that looks in a preview you could be talking while it's animating now we'll come over here to the second heart on the pie chart. One of the things you can do with Keynote is you can copy styles or different fills they have. In the chalkboard theme, they have these fills that look like someone colored on a chalkboard. And so we're going to do red for the heart. We'll click on that wedge of the pie, come up to the top of the screen and do format copy style. Then we'll click on that heart that we made, go back to the top and do format paste style. And now our heart has the same red chalkboard fill that the pie chart did. That's all we needed this for, so we're gonna click on it and delete it. In this fill here, we're gonna drag it over and align it perfectly using the guides with our chalkboard outline. We'll right click on it and send it to back so it goes behind the line. Now we wanna animate that fill. And so we'll go over here to animate, add an effect. Line draw won't be an option for a fill. There is no line. It's just a shape that has to color in. And so for this one, we're going to go ahead and use iris. It'll start from the center and kind of wash its way up. On our screen here in the bottom right, we'll come over to build order. Click on that. We will choose for the heart fill to come after the line draw. And we'll choose the line draw to happen as soon as we enter on that slide. And now if we go in and click preview, we'll see that we'll like a chalk drawing on our chalkboard of the heart filled in with red, you could easily have text over here or a video of yourself. From a simple line and arrow to a star, to breaking apart a shape, to color different parts, different colors and different lines, to filling shapes in, to interacting with text, to really bringing out the line draw effect using special themes and fills. This is how you can create line draw animation using just Keynote on your Mac without an Apple Pencil or iPad, thanks to the line draw animation and the shapes that are available on your Mac. Thanks so much. Hope this helps you out to have a more dynamic and engaging presentation. Let me know any comments or questions you have below. Thank you.